One of the key features of HPV TV2 is support for multi-screen services, enhancing and extending interactivity and engagement through mobile devices. The BT MotoGP application concept allows users to watch the MotoGP races on TV and access additional video, graphics and data on a mobile device. Mobile devices can be used to trigger replays, customise the leaderboard and switch to bike cams on the main TV. To Immerse uses an object-based approach and we're applying this to the presentation of MotoGP across multiple screens. Our aim is to explore how we could improve on the already excellent single screen coverage. In conventional broadcasting, the different elements that make up what you see and hear videos, graphics, screen layout, audio mix are all fixed before being broadcast. With the object based approach, we keep all these elements separate until they're presented on the screen. We start with a clean base video, then layer the separate graphics, video, and audio. This enables a content provider to create more flexible and personalised experiences for viewers. For example, the ability to adapt the size and placement of graphics for different sizes of TV is a simple but very powerful capability. With the object-based approach, the size of the leaderboard can be scaled, making space to show the timing gap between riders. By extending the TV experience onto a companion screen, Viewers can interact with content, perfectly synchronised to the main TV broadcast. Or mirror an onboard bike cam on the big TV. Even see and control the incredible 360 video footage from the back of Zarco's bike. The companion screen application from TV On allows viewers, from a mobile device, to browse, select and launch on the main TV screen the on-demand and catch-up TV catalogue of TV One. Companion screens. Earlier today. Uh, to get to the companion screens there are two methods. Uh, the first method I shall show you in the application itself. Go to the home screen and select the new settings menu option. When I select that, it will bring up a list of local devices connected on the network. This is my phone here, and this is the, uh, the next one down is the tablet. So if we go to the tablet, you will see the tablet launch with uh, what is a web app of uh, Showcase. And if I go to a catch-up item, particularly, um, and select that item, it will actually take the main application to the player and play back that item. Uh, every time the companion app does something, it will pop up the, uh, a notification at the top of the screen so that the user is not completely at sea if there's a second app. Vim Contact has developed a web-based framework to create multi-device services for a TV program. It enables personalization of the experience by moving parts of the application from one device to another. This was demonstrated with an election coverage service in Spain.
In cooperation with ZDF, a multi-screen experience was developed by IRT for the children's quiz show Eins, zwei, oder drei. For this concept service, the secondary device was not a tablet or smartphone, but a sensor pad, which viewers can potentially build for themselves at home. HPB TV brings the web and TV together. It equips TVs with capabilities that enable broadcasters to offer interactive TV experiences to their audiences. The latest version of the standard, HBB TV 2, expands the features by a set of protocols for extending the TV experience to secondary devices. As we want to show in this film, the scope of the HBB TV 2's so-called companion screen features is not limited to just tablets and smartphones. Like this board game, for example, Panels of acrylic glass make up the playing field, which are illuminated by LED strips from underneath. LED animations indicate the status of the game. To join the game, Taylor pushes the red button on his remote. To connect his board game, Taylor simply puts his playing figure on the playing field. The heart of the board game is a Wi-Fi enabled microcomputer, which runs a Node.js application. The application on the microcomputer connects to the quiz application on the TV via HBB TV 2's dial protocol. The Node.js application handles user input and controls the LED stripes. The application on the TV uses HBB TV 2's app to AV content synchronization features to sync itself to the broadcast video. Questions and response options appear in the HBB TV application at the same time they are mentioned by the quiz master in the show. Read switches below the playing field detect the magnetic fields released by magnets in the playing figure. The app on the microcomputer sends the corresponding response to the HBB TV application via the app to app communication channel specified in the HBB TV 2 specs. The HBB TV app subsequently displays Taylor's choice.